So, we're getting close to the end now. How will Vipco treat the two last films? Well, judging by the penultimate film, not very well. Snow Beast is a 1977 made-for-TV Yeti horror film directed by Herb Wallerstein, who is mainly known for doing episodes of TV shows. And the film stars Bo Svensson, who you might recognise from Kill Bill and Inglorious Bastards. And it also stars Sylvia Sidney, who's been in Beetlejuice. And for those who watch this review show, you might recognise her as playing the melodramatic old woman in last week's film, God Told Me To. Weird, huh? Do you like skiing? Because this film sure does. A better alternate title would have been Skiing and Nothingness. The plot is about a ski lodge that's under attack by a yeti, so the ski lodge owner, a cop, an ex-athletic skier, and a journalist set out to kill the yeti. And that's it. This film is extremely boring. Nothing really happens, there's barely any action, just a hell of a lot of talking, and a hell of a lot of skiing. Did you ever play that old PC game, Ski Free? That's got more plot to it than this film does. Heidi only saw the footprints. I saw the thing itself. The acting is fine for the most part. There's nothing hilarious or memorable here, although it can dip into the melodramatic every now and then, and some of the bit part characters can be a little odd. There's pretty much no go to speak of in this. You get a little bit of fake blood in the snow, and that's your lot, really. And the Yeti. Well, the costume looks like it could be something interesting, something quite cool, but you barely get a good look at it. Most of the shots of the Yeti are either it in the distance, so you can barely see it, it's behind some trees, really up close for a split second and it's gone, or first person perspective from the Yeti's view just really disappointing. And then, on the filmmaking side of things, it's very by the books, inoffensive, and flat. Although, the location that they chose to shoot on is quite nice, but it was probably just an excuse for a skiing holiday. Now this is very obviously a made for TV movie. Outside of the tamer nature of the film, there's also these very obvious scene end transitions. Uh, every 15 minutes in the film, thereabouts, the film will freeze frame, become tinted red, and then fade to black. Now, these are very clearly advert breaks. I haven't seen a film, unless I was watching it on TV I guess, that has such blatant advert breaks in it before. Also, weirdly, this film was remade in 2011. Now, I have two theories about this. Either somebody loved the film so much, they just had to remake it. Or the second theory ties in quite well with what I've seen in the trailer. Because it looks to me like they're using the exact same Yeti costume. So my second theory is, is that somebody won the Yeti costume in an auction and went, well, now I've got this Yeti costume, might as well do something with it, and hence the remake appeared. And it looks about as good as you're probably imagining, although it does seem like they use the Yeti a hell of a lot more. He's in the trailer way more than he was in the entirety of the original. What a 
mess. How are we gonna write this one up? I don't know. The print for this one isn't too bad this time, really. It's got the odd flicker, and it can be a little low resolution, but it's quite watchable, really. And on the disc, same old stuff that we always get. But this one has got spelling error free menus, so that's pretty good. The case for this one seems fine, really. Sums up everything nicely. I think it needed a comma here, but that's about it. Overall then, this was a very boring watch, and I can honestly say that there is nothing at all worth seeing in this film. It tries to justify itself by adding little side stories for the characters, but it's so hard to care when you're only here to see a bloody yeti. Now I have seen this film compared, not favourably, mind, but I have seen it compared to Jaws, and while I'm not a massive fan of that film either, it is miles better than this piece of crap. Of course, there's no Blu-ray re-release of this, so if for some reason you really wanted to own a copy or watch this film, this print's fine. So, very disappointing film this week, and next week we're going to be watching the last film in the entire collection. I cannot believe we're at this point already. Will we end on a high note, or will we just sort of peter out with another boring, crappy film. We're gonna be watching... Bloody hell. It's only bloody, bloody moon. I liked doing that bit, that was fun. Bloody moon.